this class we discuss about basic principle of light control and types of lighting schemes when light falls on the surface depending upon the nature of the surface some portion is transmitted through the medium of the surface and the rest is absorbed there are two types of reflection one is a mirror or specular reflection number two diffuse reflection in specular reflection a beam of light is reflected but not scattered and unless the eye is placed in the path of the reflected beam in diffuse reflection the reflected light is scattered in all directions this is a figure of specular reflection or mirror reflection this is the light source this is the screen when the incident ray hit the surface it get reflected this is a reflected view if the viewer eye is placed in the path of the reflected beam the viewer sees not the illuminated surface but the light source examples are highly polished metals number 2 mirror second is a diffuse reflection this is a figure of diffuse reflection this is the light source this is a screen here the incident ray is scattered the viewer sees the illuminated surface not the light source paper frosted glass plaster on the best examples of diffuse reflection the third is perfectly diffuse if a surface that is uniformly illuminated by a beam of light appears to be equally bright when viewed from all possible angles the reflection is said to be perfectly diffused next is matte surface a surface is almost free from specular or mirror reflection is called matte surface a uh, types of lighting schemes the distribution of light emitted by lamp is usually controlled to some extent by means of reflectors and the translucent diffusing screens or even lenses the one is uh, dark lighting in this scheme 90 to 100 percent of the light is fall downwards only 10 percentage is goes upward it is most commonly used type of lighting using deep reflectors all the light flux is made to fall on the working plate it is mainly used for industrial and general outdoor lighting there are two types of reflectors are used one is a open reflector another is a closed reflector this is a lamp here this is a lamp the main disadvantage is it causes hot shadows and glare the second is indirect lighting in this scheme 60 to 90 percent of light flux is thrown upward to the ceiling for diffuse reflection and the rest is reaches the working plane in this lighting opaque reflectors are fitted under the lamps it is used for decorative purpose in cinema hotels etc this gives a glare free diffused light flux with only soft shadows this is a reflector this is a lamp next is semi dark lighting in this scheme 60 to 90 percentage of the total flux is made to fall downwards with the help of semi direct reflectors this is a semi direct reflector 10 to 40 percentage of light is used to illuminate the ceiling and walls it is used for general lighting where the ceiling should also be illuminated glare in such a units are avoided by employing diffusing globes which not only improve the brightness towards the eye level but also to improve the efficiency of the system next is semi indirect lighting in this scheme 60 to 90 percentage of total flux is thrown upwards to the ceiling for diffuse reflection 10 to 40 percentage reaches the working plane directly the system provides a soft lighting with a good amount of relative efficiency this is a reflector it is mainly used for indoor decoration purposes next is general lighting in this method the bulb and its reflector are made up of diffuse glass this is a diffuse glass so as to give uniform illumination in all direction here 50 percentage is downward and 50 percentage is upward the best example for general lighting are wall lights chandelier ceiling lights wall lights provide good general light for background illumination of a room chandelier ceiling lights provide good general lighting Number three, dimmers and lower voltage lamps can be used to reduce glare and therefore enhance the decorative impact of the fitting. Characteristics of good illumination: number one, 
the reflector used with the lamp should not be of dark color number 2 the source of light should not strike the eyes of the workers number 3 the source of light should come indirectly or by reflection number 4 lamp should be located in a proper place and then adjusted towards the job number 5 the type and size of the lamp should be correct number 6 to maintain the efficiency of the lamp it should be cleaned regularly with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening